What's up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zillig, Ezekiel Milligan, and Villa Trilligan. We're back with Dongan Rapa. Trigger Happy Happy. It is the same day. Literally. I ended that last recording at like 11. It's 11.20. I made a Frank and I ate a Frank and now we're back recording. Oh my goodness. This end game is like, is, is, is going crazy. I just need to see. Last episode, we found a lie in Kyoko's alibi or Kyoko's testimony. And, but we decided we were given the choice to call her out or stay loyal to call her out or let it slide. And you know your boy. Kyoko is over here up is up top. I'm not I'm not going against Kyoko. I'm not doing that. I'm not going against Kyoko, so I have to let it slide. I'm not about to expose her like that, you feel me? So we got executed. Nah, psych. We were supposed to get executed. But Alter Ego actually hacked the school's network and saved us last second, throwing us into the garbage truck dump. So now we gotta escape. This is a desk. It's probably the one that fell down here with me. <gasps> Wait a second. If we were about to get executed, that means we did kill him. Kill her. Huh. I, I, we need to learn about that. Is that an airplane? How'd something like that wind up in the school's garbage pit? How did an airplane get there? What? That's a rocket in a tank. I better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. No matter how many times I pushed or pulled or kicked at it, it didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't going to be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon, I decided to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. But that was pointless too. Next, I search for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are all around a bad idea? Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides, but that's still not enough reason to give up because, because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was go to sleep. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day I had to have passed. And all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign, not exactly. What? The strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched, a pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Something fell from above. What could it have been? They probably threw us a way to get out. A giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched my hand out toward whatever it was that had tumbled down here with me. Just a second. A giant piece of trash, how rude. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. It's the gu- It smells awful. It's the gal! Oh my goodness, she came back for me! Kyoko! Indeed. You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? So... Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. You got a bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash and faced me again. Hey. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Thank you! I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making its way toward my stomach. Woo, that really hit the spot. Now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. <laughs> so you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is all about is all about all I'm good at. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. Alright. What's the move? But Kyoko, 
Why'd you come to rescue me? So... To pay a debt or no, to atone. Atone? <clears throat> you. During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So you knew that I knew. Indeed. But even though I knew I did nothing to help you. I... I abandoned you. Don't say that! You didn't abandon me! No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However... But listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason I had to survive no matter the cost. <laughs> tell me that reason! Why did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive... In other words... Is so that I can do what I came to this school to do. What? I made up my mind to come to Hope's Peak Academy for one very important reason. So you have a reason for coming to Hope's Peak? Indeed. That's right. At least I did once. Once. I... Until recently, I'd forgotten what it was. You forgot, but that's... She has amnesia. I had no memory of what my purpose was. No memory? That's impossible. That's amnesia. Then is it really true you lost your memory? Makoto. Do you remember Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at this school? The first thing? You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted and when I woke up, I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point, my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to this school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine what happened by chance. It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... Indeed. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the mastermind. They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. Because of my purpose and my ability, somehow they would interfere with the mastermind's plans. So the mastermind just stole them from me. However... And it could also mean... Somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of this school and the mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Why is that? If I did that and we all worked as one, the mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always a chance that the mastermind is actually one of us. What? Correct. Well, don't make too big a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, you can't ignore it, right? The mastermind, one of us. If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However... That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? <laughs> because among everyone, you were the least likely to be the mastermind. That was just intuition, but... I see. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could have been a mastermind. I... understand. I should... understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's... to stay here. Ugh! It's just like the dream I had before, but... Why did that just happen? Listen. Are you okay? Oh yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know? It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personality. I always trusted Kyoko. I trusted her from the beginning. I never doubted Kyoko. I better talk to We just talked to Kyoko. You said you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own. So, how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but at the very least, I was finally able to rec recall my purpose and my ability. You mentioned your ability. I... 
my ability, what everyone should have known me for. I'm the ultimate detective. I could have figured that considering you're, you're, you look like a detective and you do detective things. The ultimate detective. Correct. And the reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy, there was someone I had to find here in the school. You had to find someone who? So... Well, it was the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. The headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. What? In other words... I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad is Hope's Peak headmaster. Then that explains when Alter Ego told us how we thought the headmaster was involved. I... I'll find a way. Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I'll find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? I... My memory hadn't come back at that point. But when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect, perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. That makes sense. However, but listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I, don't, I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen and when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then, what did you see in there? So... That room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess. The desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. You mean the mastermind, it's right? True. That was my assumption, yes, and to confirm my suspicions, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. This is some kind of map. Indeed. It's a layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room along with Mukuro's profile and that key. The map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms used meant for faculty use. Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have had some kind of private room there. I assumed that if there were true, if that were true, that room would luckily hold more clues so I want to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there. However... But once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorm didn't have any cameras or monitors. So what was it like? That part of the school, I mean. It's hard to describe. All I can say is... I... The moment I saw it, I realized... Whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What do you mean?! So... I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself. And I'm sure you'll get that chance soon enough. It sounds like it must be important. And really ominous. However... It has to do with Makuro... Uh, that's why, why I had no idea what was going on. Something, something, something. It has to do with Makuro Ikusaba, doesn't it? However... Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi, so then who did kill anyway. her? Anyway. What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukuro Ikusaba was to get me killed. Get you killed? Indeed. I stole that key and disappeared, and in retaliation they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. That was the point of the class trial. It was. The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean, because of the school regulations? That's right. Exactly. Minimal restrictions, you're free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. In other words... The mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules. That makes it sound like... The mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Makuro Ikusaba. What's that? There was a point where Makuro may not have become the victim. It could have been you, Makoto. Yeah! That's when Kyoko stepped in and saved me. 
I could have been a victim. Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? Do you mean... During the night... I... I can hear them, you know? The footsteps of the God of Death? What? I can hear the God of Death as he moves. That ability naturally draws me into cases just like this. Anyway... Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell and I saw a white shadow across the corridor. I gave chase right away as I followed it I saw the shadow go into your room. Correct. I ran into your room and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately of course. However... That wasn't the end of things of course. I stopped them but that led to... Whoever the mass assailant was they ended up dead. Correct. And their murder was disguised, and the dojo key wound up in my room. It has to do with the it has to be the work of the mastermind, and an attempt to use a class trial to eliminate him. So all this would mean that whoever killed Makuro is also the mastermind, right? Indeed. I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. But that's really bad if true. It means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but doesn't that mean they, that cre doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use a class trial to kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. You're right, that is a contradiction. And it's not just Makuro. They needed the class trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So what does it all mean? In other words... It means the mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of the other ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Makuro was the ultimate despair. And that she's dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair was just one person. It's not? Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about That's right. what happened a year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy, whoever's responsible for that. They're the ultimate despair? That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then they're, Indeed. make no mistake, they're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. Oh my goodness. Hey, that's cool. The ultimate despair. A group of people who caused a tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now... Anyway... Right now we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I do. It's an absolutely vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. And it can open any door in the school, right? That's right. Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? Hey, Kyoko, can we use the key of yours to open this? We can use the key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it and slid it into the keyhole. And then... Yes, it opened! Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. Finally. We were finally free. But there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief because a real fight had just begun. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. Mm -hmm. 
After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading it up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder intent on reaching the surface. Good job, game developers. Good job. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it landed. We climbed in the darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. It doesn't look that cramped. I had no idea we were so far down. Oh. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. We yeah, all be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off it. Uh, Gyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you were the ultimate detective, right? How long have you been doing detective work? How long? So... Ever since I can remember. I come from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... Right. Because we take pride in it. Pride. Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family creed, and we do, and we do what we must to protect it. Because like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains... Before I came here, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However... And yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride, the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak, it was because you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect. I had now, I have absolutely no, blah, my, I can't read. I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. What? But you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However. There is something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? The last time I saw him, I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising future. However... But he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died and he simply ran away. He went off to my grandfather and they had a huge argument. And young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Shut up, Makoto. I'm, I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I'd gone with him, I never would have gotten the chance to be a detective. I was above Kyoko on a ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. So I couldn't tell. I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative and more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position would say, right? But it's not true. However... But there's one thing. One thing that I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However... But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. I... His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. 
That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But your family, it's just cut him out like that. Wrong. Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that, I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. She was spitting though, like that, that's a bar. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Looks like this is it. Indeed. On the other side of this door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back. That's right. Remember that hatch on the ground in the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's what we'll come out of. I unlocked it earlier, so this should open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reach my right hand up and put pushed against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease and so. Looks like we're back. Ooh. But I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I never would have gotten out of there without you. Hmm. No thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. So now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the mastermind finds out... And I'm worried about you, too. You helped me, so they might... Listen. You're worried? Yeah, of course. So then... Then, let's just get a concrete answer. Huh? In other words... Let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's... However... If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time until we found, until we're found out. And it's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed at the, secure, the surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry. What you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared. You said something like that before, what does it mean? So... The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Mukuro's death. There was a master... There was a moment when the mastermind let her guard down. There was. Right. If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for us if we go talk to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. I'm still a little, no, super uneasy about this. But we don't have, we don't really have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. Oh my good, this is just crazy. This is just absolutely insane. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Dog. Hey, Monikum! Hey, Monikum! I got a bone to pick with you. Well now, well now, well now. Hey, hey, shut up. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Kyoko, I don't mind so much. But Makoto's supposed to be dead. What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really going to be okay? <laughs> you were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? What? So what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again. And this time I won't leave anything to chance. Kyoko. Right. Do whatever you feel you have to do. What? However. But before you do, let me just say one thing. Yeah. Uh. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? I lose? Hey. You explain yourself. What do you mean by that? 
because... Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as a black and then executed, right? Hey, hey! Wh what are you talking about? However... But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't, weren't at all what you were expecting. <laughs> Because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the Blacken and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No, more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. However... But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Alter Ego. Oh, my fault. Alter Ego. You never imagined the possibility of being... of a being that could come to our aid even after you killed it. Am I wrong? Now, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Mukuro. You did. Listen to me. So, executing Makoto for it surely would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Blacken is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? <laughs> and that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the Blacken is me and not Makoto? Well... And you can prove this, right? Well... No, I can't. Don't just say it like that! <laughs> what is this, a comedy routine? To make such bold claims without a shred of evidence. That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. Poom, poom. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type. Because... If Makoto really was the killer, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you love to inspire. However... But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. What the heck? And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in this absence of evidence. Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him, killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. Hey. Of course, you can say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If you want to earn our despair fair and square, then I suggest you take my advice. So, what is this advice of yours? It's true. To do Mukuro's child over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for one last showdown. One final battle between hope and despair. Hey. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial, one last showdown. In other words, this would be our chance to expose the true identity of Mukuro's killer, of the mastermind themselves. But what reason would the mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> interesting. Bear it. Very interesting indeed. Barry. What's wrong? Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little. So time for bear jokes. Now, what you're suggesting might be possible. I would certainly make that would certainly make one honey of a climax. In other words, does that mean you accept? You guys! If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your terms. <laughs> will your hope win out, or will my despair claim victory? I can barely Let's have myself. Shut up. Let's have one final grizzly showdown. He agreed. Then we still have a shot at this. Bear it. But this is a longer way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely fitting you in. Guys. 
So for this final face-off, you'll have to wonder all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries. <laughs> that's right. Every last mystery that's pawing around the school. If you can do that, I can barely then that'll be enough myself. to qualify as a victory for you. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. <laughs> okay, well, good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Mukuro's death and solve the mysteries of this school, you guys. then you win. <laughs> but if you can't do all that, we'll all face execution, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? <laughs> We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we've uncovered every last truth, how would the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this all has turned out. Hey. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held? What's wrong? I remember that for sure. So what? Hey. I just want to confirm. That is what you said, right? And it's a true statement. <laughs> you don't have to be suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations. And having a trial from Mukuro is no exception to that. Huh? Mukuro's trial is no exception. Then it's part of the regulations. Which would mean that whoever killed Mukuro... <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know. But okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only only and the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why'd he go quiet all of a sudden? I'm done talking! I got nothing left to say to you! So get lost, would ya? Why is he mad? <sighs> he seems emotionally unstable. Hey! Leave me alone! Get out of here! Okay, I'm going. I just... You're really gonna let me go? I don't care anymore! You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair! Hey. Come on, Makoto, let's go. All right. <laughs> Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. I still had my life, and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. However, Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. <sighs> but still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's because of that one moment that he let, that the mastermind let down their guard, like I said. What? So what was it the mastermind let their guard down? So... I wasn't there to hear it myself. But do you remember what the mastermind said? They said they had hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. Listen. And what do you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Indeed. You don't actually read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However... And yet somehow the mastermind was able to do it. In other words... But think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. A reason. So... They had to show the world something. No matter the cost. Us killing each other. 
they wanted to show the world. It would seem... The mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, nobody would have killed anybody. In other words... So the mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept. You're talking about hope, right? That's right. And for those of us who represent hope, to kill each other and sink into despair, the mastermind wants the world to see that, to try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal, that's the ultimate despair. What? They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But that's ridiculous! It's true. You're right, it is ridiculous. Completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who would call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. That group would only per that that group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But if that's really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer, Makoto. I know how angry it must make you, and yet that same motivation is what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. What? In other words, because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world, the mastermind had to be more particular than is had to be more particular than is reasonable about their regulations. If the mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least. At least, that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. Oh, and that's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves? Indeed. That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of their regulations. Junko broke the rules so she was punished, but in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So instead, they tried to use a class trial, following all their proper rules to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer, then made me out to be the killer. But even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the mastermind had to accept your suggestion. Indeed. To prove to the world that despair was better than hope, they have to defeat us in perfect form. In other words, it would only it would only do the mastermind harm to have it shown that they violated their own regulations. But all that was just a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the mastermind to accept your challenge. However, well, it's only thanks to you that I got that chance, because you believed in me another path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of the mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. <sighs> but it looks like I got it right. This time, at least, I won the bet. She let out a quick sigh. I took that small sign as- I took that- I took it as a small sign of relief. <laughs> To be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. Totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. <laughs> well, presenting a strong demeanor is fundamental in part of negotiation persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I showed my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However... Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Correct. Where everything we've gone through will be all for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no option except to win! Hey. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True. But now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do is work together with everyone to destroy the mastermind. Work together with everyone? However... Is that really possible? Huh? Anyway... Anyway, right now we have to go find the others. Shall we go? They're probably in the dorm somewhere, shall we go? Oh my- bro, this is crazy. We're really at the climax, man. 
This game is it's a short game, but it feels so long. Uh, I can't I really can't wait to see how this ends. I, I I really I really can't wait to see how this all plays out. Okay, they're probably in the dining hall then. And suddenly we were greeted with You again? Is he broken? I suppose his emotional instability reached his limit. Jeez, what the heck? However, I wonder what that was all about. I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Woo! Woo! Makoto? You guys! It is! There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto. Huh? You survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? Is that Knuckles' voice actor? From Sonic Boom? Everyone was there. All my friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? Wait, what is that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. Uh. It's Makoto! He smells like a wet dog! <laughs> Get away, shoo shoo! And in a flash, my tears dried up. Makoto. There's no time to indulge in happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what's happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain? Explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell all of you about the last class trial. Huh? Last class trial? In other words. We're going to redo Mukuro's trial. Huh? Wait, seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't do it. Like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer. And of course, it's not me or any of you. Mm -hmm. Then who is it? I see. What she's saying is, it was all the work of the mastermind. Mm -hmm. What? You're saying the mastermind killed Makuro? That's right. That's right. It was on an elaborate trap contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to to stop it. However... But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What, what did you say? You spotted the trap? Did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy. I just, you know. However, by executing Makoto, who wasn't the blacking, it's a clear, is a clear viol. By executing Makoto, who wasn't the blacking, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rule states that only the blacking is to be executed. The mastermind broke their own rules, <laughs> which is why I went and negotiated with them to have a class trial one more time. Huh? And the mastermind agreed. Does that mean they really did break the rules? They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the mastermind has been ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. <laughs> so knowing all this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed Makuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind? Hmm. But there's more to it than that, correct? Yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Huh? Every last mystery? But... But we've been looking around all this time and we still don't know anything, right? Anyway... You've probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh! Hey, who said you could have greeted those terms without talking to the rest of us? Yeah. I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine with living here forever with Master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. Anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. 
interesting. In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But... But figuring out who the mastermind is, and how they killed Makuro, and all the school mysteries... <sighs> it's a pretty tough friggin' order. Maybe, but this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I... I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too, at first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know. But enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants. All of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step into Hope's Peak since the killing game began... Are those 16 students. So I basically... See. So what I'm getting from that means that my Monokuma is one of the students. That's basically what I'm getting from that. Monokuma is one of the students. If that's the case, that would explain why if Monokuma killed another student, there would be a class trial held. He's also one of the students. Monokuma said that, did he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? Huh? But why? So in other words... If the mastermind really is the one who killed Makuro, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to step foot in the school, right? Monokuma could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could do it dis in this he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words. But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> then the mastermind is. There were 15 of us in the main hall. Oh, there were 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. Add in Mukuro, you get 16. So the mastermind would have to be one of them. That's right. And of those 16 people we started out with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. Need I continue or do you get it now? What? You're saying the mastermind is one of us? No way. You can't be serious. Wait, we can't say for sure that's true yet. Monokuma might have said that all to confuse us. Indeed. Certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair? So they must be a high schooler. <laughs> you can't say it's not possible. But if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Maybe they snuck off and controlled him in secret. But... But I don't care how sneaky you are, we would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? Then maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Oh, maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Ah, uh, this is a school announcement. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> How very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. We need to begin our investigation. But I was planning on working alone, for, for alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of my family. At this point, I can only rely on myself, on the Togami blood running through my veins. Hm. 
I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your own responsibility. Well then. After making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. God, master! He didn't take me with him! Hey. Do you blame him? Without master, the rest of you are like coffee with cream. Without cream or coffee, yeah. you're totally useless! So bye. With that, Toko trudged out of the dining hall. And now she's gone. You're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself, too. Just a second. Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> Laughing loudly, Hiro left the dining hall. Aww. Everyone's really gonna go off by themselves? What about you, Hina? Mm. I guess I'll do the same thing. But... I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? I mean... But up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been there, I would have died. Huh? Makoto. <laughs> that's really nice of you to say. But... But still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. Okay. So I figure, at least at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us get out of here. So I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. Hina was in surprisingly high spirits as she danced out of the dining hall. And once again, it's just us two. Indeed. So you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? However. Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're gonna do our searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just see it as us splitting up to cover more ground. And then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. That's right! So then. Well, I'd better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. Monokuma said all the doors in the school had been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto. Makoto, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone, leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of this school. And then we can all escape together. Hello. 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 We're running through the school. I'm feeling so cool. Reaching out to the truth. I'm feeling so cool. Finna kill Monokuma. Finna kill Monokuma. Boom him up like a Roomba. Clean him up like a Roomba. Like a Roomba. Playing Koomba. Killing Monokuma. Hula Hoopa. Hold on. That don't make sense. That don't make sense. He finna get bent. He finna get spent. Finna spin him like change. Finna go and make some change. Finna clean up his brains. Then I'll go hit a game. Finna go get maimed. Uh, the boy finna get maimed. The boy finna get claimed. The boy finna get damned. Damned cause I'ma like, hold up. Damned cause I'ma like shoot him from real far away. Cause you know how Dame be shooting from the logo. We gon' jump him like it's Pogo. I'm on the go-go. Like, I'm with the slow flow, but I'm so... Bro, <laughs> alright, I, I dropped it, I dropped it. Alright, that's the end of this episode. Peace out, guys, I love you. Next episode, we finna get to investigation. Oh my freaking goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Woohoo!